Ricky. Hello everyone, my name is Philip Oyeleye. I'm a filmmaker and a serial entrepreneur. Keep watching God's Home TV on YouTube. Please subscribe. God bless you. Okay, so talking about the release date of Abattoir Season 5, except something happened or maybe there is a very big project like Enoch movie, I don't think Enola is coming back because to me, I think it will be a little bit unrealistic. So, what was your reaction when you heard the voice of Rambo in the final episode of Abattoir Season 4? When you heard 10,000 of Una, like, I screamed. And I'm very sure that a lot of people screamed too. Like, we didn't see it coming. Like, before the season 4 was released, I was like, okay, maybe it would come back. But episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, 10. I was like, it's over now. It's not coming back. But when I heard the voice, thank God I was the only one watching because I screamed. I almost cried. I mean, give it to Dam Lola Mike Bam Louie. He is a fantastic script writer. And without powerful conclusion of season four, we can say for sure, with all assurance, that uh, by the grace of God, by the special grace of God, season five is coming. Now, in this video, I want to talk about when should we be expecting season five. And also, I want to talk about some of the expectations, some things that we should expect in Season 5 of our tour series. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Bero Pro Max, Bero Hotra. So, if you think that Bero was proud, was arrogant, was disobedient, was a lot of things put together, a lot of things that a believer should not be, then you have not met Dele. Because the way Dele is going in the series, by Season 5, it is going to take a very special grace of God for him to be standing as a believer and as the SUG president. You know that he just won the election as a student union you know, president and his opponent is really after him. And they've sent Sister Delilah, Sister Jezebel to him. And he seems to be falling so fast. And he's falling just because he's been proud arrogant and everything so if you think that Bero was arrogant i think this brodele mm -hmm. is on his pro max okay so talking about the release date of abattoir season 5 we are very sure that it is coming damn lola mike bamilui shared a video on his birthday a video of him celebrating his birthday with the cast and crew members of abattoir season 5. <laughs> So for that we know that in fact it is very possible that they're already concluding shooting season five. So it is coming. We are very sure that it is coming. By the time that is going to come, I believe that except something happened or maybe there is a very big project like Enoch movie. I don't think there will be a delay. Now, the prayer is that there should be no itches, no technical itches, like during the time that we were waiting for Bimi, and then we later learned that um, there was a problem with the hard drive, and they had to reshoot some of the scenes. So, except something like that happened, I believe that about Season 5 is going to come next year, before June next year. That is just my own projection. Now, I may be wrong, but just take your mind off this year. It is not going to happen this year anymore. But by next year, we are going to be seeing it. So looking at the release date of season 1, season 2, or season 3, we can say that latest by June, middle of next year, we should be getting season 5. Okay, so I think that the most underrated actor in season 4 will be Folare. Abi, is there anyone among you that's not giving his life to, to Jesus? No, 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 it's a personal decision. It's a very personal decision, as Bernard has said. So that we can know the goats among the sheep. You know, we know the black sheep. John Ogunto Ashe played the role of Folari, the elder brother of Melody, who wanted to kill Juan, the ex-boyfriend of Melody. And in case you don't know, John Ogunto Ashe is actually a movie director, a gospel movie director. He has directed a lot of movies. And he and Damnola McBamloe directed Enoch the movie. Seeing him act like that and every scene that he featured, it's either I was laughing 
oh, I was so touched. And you know, most of the scenes it featured in, it was either I was laughing, it was making me laugh, or it was making me sad, especially when he lost the sister. And then when he became born again, you know, bringing all his guys, I just think that the delivery was so funny. You know, it was not like one of the major characters. It was his first time in Abattoir series and he killed the role. Okay, so on to the next one. Eniola is gone. <laughs> Blood on the nose. And then I hold her. And then she died. No! I can't blood on the nose kill a man. Ow! I love watching to look when Mike Bamiloye acts. Like, uh, I'm a very strong fan of us. In fact, I think she's not acting enough. Like, I love watching her on the screen. And now to see that she is no longer going to be on the show is somehow painful. And you know, as I was watching, I was like, ah, maybe now that Baba Gwenro is in the hospital, Baba Gwenro is going to pray. And when Baba Gwenro pray, you know, miracle happen and everything like that. But I am not thinking that she will be coming back. I don't think Enola is coming back because to me, I think it will be a little bit unrealistic. You know, bringing Rambo back from the dead and then bringing Enola from the dead is going to be like, um, it's going to be unrealistic because at the end of the day, this is life. And you know, sometimes things that we don't love happen. Of course, there is mercy. There is a place of mercy, but at the same time, bad things used to happen and also talking about rambo i believe that damnola mike bamiloe actually left some clue for us but somehow we missed it and the reason we missed it is because of the way he was shot now if you remember the scene where rambo went to meet the grandmaster and he was asking for power that he wanted to ascend he wanted more power so my own theory which i want to believe is right is that during that time the grandmaster gave him some sort of power and when he was shot he was not killed because of the power that he was given you know he has been fortified with different powers like that so he was shot but he was not killed and the grandmaster intentionally kept him as an element of surprise okay so let me know what you're expecting from season five are you as excited as I am? I know that you're excited. Like, it is not possible for you to watch the final scene in episode 10 and not be excited. All of us, we want to see, will Rambo kill Commando and Bade? Will he miss? Will he kill them? Is that the end of Commando? Is that the end of Bade? We don't know yet, but let's wait till next year and then we are going to find out. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. Always remember that Jesus loves you so much. He died for you and he loves you with an everlasting love. Till I come your way again, this is God's Own TV. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye.